And then let me ask you about this year is going to end up being the hottest mm. year on record. What does that say about the state of our planet? You know, this Mayan prophecy thing, I think, is a detour because there's some real problems facing the planet Earth. As you pointed out, um, this year could go down as one of the hottest years ever recorded in the history of science going back more than a century. This decade could go down as the hottest decade ever recorded. So there's some real problems facing the Earth, but this is a detour, a distraction from what we really have to face, like the heating up of the planet Earth. That's a real problem. In Sri Lanka, three days of torrential rain have caused deadly flash floods and landslides. At least 25 people have been killed, 14 others are missing. But the worst may not be over. Nal Fernandez reports from the central. This is the manner in which a bus flying on the Putulam Kalambo main road was at the risk of being washed away with the flood waters. The bus was travelling through the Mangadini area when it was caught in the flood. 46 individuals who were trapped inside the bus for nearly 4 hours were eventually rescued. There is a major danger of further mudslides. Several cracks have appeared in surrounding areas. At least 32 people have been killed and nine are reported missing after more than a week of heavy rain swamped parts of Sri Lanka. Flooding in central, north central and eastern Sri Lanka has displaced thousands. More than 17,000 people have been housed in 100 relief camps. The cold snap is bringing deaths in Ukraine. Around 200 were hospitalized since the beginning of the heavy frosts. During the last week, the temperatures plunged to 20 degrees below zero, heading the homeless for disaster. Most of the frost victims were found on the streets. It's become a familiar scene in Ukraine, man and machine battling the elements and losing. The weather here has proved fatal for dozens of people, Special warming points have been set up to provide respite from the plunging temperatures. In neighbouring Romania, the picture is also bleak. Many roads are impassable and dozens of villages have been left without electricity. Further south in eastern Bulgaria, the snow has been so heavy, a state of emergency has been declared. Parts of the country are at a standstill. Some say the response of the authorities has been inadequate. But spare a thought for people living in Siberia, where the mercury has dipped below minus 40 degrees Celsius.
Well, a powerful winter storm caused massive issues across much of the nation's midsection from the plains to deep south on into the Midwest from blinding snow to severe weather. But here in the Texas Panhandle, a massive dust storm rolled through. 23 cars piled up on I-27 because they simply could not see anything in front of them. One man was killed in the pileup and 17 were injured. We'll start this morning with that winter storm that could disrupt holiday travel plans. NBC's Kevin Tibbles is in Chicago for us this morning. Kevin, good morning to you. Hey, Savannah, many of us have been asking what's happened to winter so far this year. Well, a lot of us are about to find out as a major, big storm system is moving right across the nation. It is the first day of winter, and it looks like it in much of the Midwest. The first major snowstorm of the season is being blamed for at least eight deaths so far, and things could get worse. This morning, at least 18 states are dealing with snow, rain, and high wind. More than 100 miles of interstate highways had to be closed at the height of the storm. Airlines have canceled more than 1,000 flights yesterday and today, and that storm is pushing into the Northeast, complicating plans for millions of Americans on the busiest travel day of the season. Okay, was that you? Yeah! It's still Thursday here in the U.S., but for residents in China, it's Friday, December 21st, the last recorded day on the Mayan calendar. In the lead-up to this day, rumors including three straight days of darkness sparked a Kendall shopping spree. Others built shelters they hoped would get them through the end of days. The Chinese police also began rounding up individuals they say were spreading doomsday rumors. But according to Weibo users, December 21st appears to be like any other day. The only thing that caused some alarm was the weather forecast. Temperatures in the capital Beijing plummeted suddenly on Thursday. Over the weekend, residents there can expect the coldest December nights in 10 years. Saturday's low is expected to be a chilly 5 degree Fahrenheit. Beijing's rumor-fearing authorities have already told residents not to link the freeze to any talk of the end of the world. Heavy rain and flooding has brought a miserable start to the Christmas holidays for many people around the UK. Three severe flood warnings have been issued for Devon and Cornwall, while Braunton in North Devon has been effectively cut off. There is also heightened flood risk across Somerset, Dorset, Bristol, Hampshire, the Isle of Wight, Western East Sussex, North Yorkshire and much of Wales, according to the Environment Agency. Train operators. You would be more forgiving if it was snow preventing you from getting home for Christmas. But in Britain, it's heavy rain that has left railway lines and many towns under several centimetres of water. More rain is forecast across much of southern and western England, as well as Wales and Scotland over the next two days. UK authorities have issued more than 160 flood warnings. The rain has got even heavier. If I can just show you where we're standing here in Brockenhurst, you can see behind me the river has burst its banks. That happened overnight, and all that flood water has surged across the green area and into that car park. That's a gravel car park in there. You can see those posts there now, a foot underwater, and all that water surging onto the road here behind me. Now, I've just had a briefing with Hampshire Fire and Rescue Service, and they tell me that across the county, the situation is really deteriorating very rapidly. If I can just bring you the headlines from that briefing, they're saying that they've now activated their emergency control centre, and that's to deal with the very high volume of calls that they've had from residents. Two main things, people stuck in cars and people's homes also flooding. Now here in Brockenhurst, we've seen with our own eyes people stuck in flood water and climbing out of their cars. We filmed at 9 o'clock this morning, a man was climbing out of his Mazda and trying to push back to safety. Then we came across a couple who got stuck in what looked very much like a Ford. It wasn't a Ford actually, it was just a, a normal road. They were climbing out.
Western Antarctica is warming almost twice as fast as previously believed. Figures show temperatures in the area have risen by an average 2.4 Celsius since the 1950s, three times the global average. Western Antarctica holds enough ice to raise world sea levels by at least 3.3 metres if it ever melts. Good evening, I'm Carl Quintanilla in tonight for Brian. A large part of the country doesn't have to dream of a white Christmas tonight. They are getting it. A major winter storm is bringing snow and thunderstorms to Texas, Oklahoma, Alabama, and Arkansas. But that's not the only threat. Tornadoes are a big concern along the Gulf Coast as the storm now moves to the north and east, threatening holiday travel. We have two reports tonight from those who cover it best, our friends at the Weather Channel, and we begin with meteorologist Jim Cantori in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Jim, good evening. Hey, Carl, this uh, tornado outbreak is far from over. We've already had damage uh, with unknown injuries off to my south, and we are just underway uh, with this multifaceted storm. Let's talk about it as we go through the rest of the night. There's no reason why Birmingham and Atlanta will not deal with uh, severe thunderstorms. Travel not recommended. Look at this, Arkansas all the way up into Kentucky, into southern Illinois, Missouri, as that's where the blizzard conditions, nine states right now under blizzard conditions, and then on Wednesday, our severe weather threat. Uh, Carl, as you mentioned, we have been tracking severe weather all afternoon, including those tornado warnings that Carl has been mentioning and Derek Kevra all afternoon. We actually have an update from our North Shore reporter, Ashley Rodrigue, who's on the phone. We're hearing that a tornado did touch down in Pearl County, Mississippi, uh, about an hour ago, and she spoke to the Emergency Operations Center. We're hearing that there were several homes damaged. Ashley, can you hear me? Do you have an update for us? Yes, Tanya. The EOC director for Pearl River County, Mississippi, Mississippi, Danny Manley tells me that they are... Christmas Day tornado going through Mobile. Oh my God, look, that's a tornado. Oh wow. Oh Jesus, look at that tornado. Oh my God, that's cool. Jesus, please keep your hands on here over there. Look at them, that's like two tornadoes. It's two funnels on the ground. Oh Lord. Look at there. Wow. It's been on the ground now for over a minute. Oh dear Jesus. Huh. Wow. Look at that. Dear Jesus, please keep your hands on my sister and her family. Oh, Lord. Look at that tornado, honey. 